I'm not cast to play me in a movie about my life. There's a few people that come to mind, but off the top of the dome, Halle Bailey. Now, when I saw this on my timeline, I thought my undiagnosed dyslexia was seeing things. But I read that correctly. Brandy says she would cast Holly Bailey to play her in a movie, a biopic, if you will. Holly Bailey is no stranger to breaking barriers when it comes to playing historically white fictional characters. However, when it comes to non-fictional, let's just keep it all the way real, please. Because the number one answer on the scoreboard was having her daughter Sarah play her. I mean, for obvious reasons. But I came to realize something that I feel like a lot of people may be overlooking about Brandy. And let me just say, this is no disrespect towards Brandy. This is merely just my observation off of events that have played out publicly in the past. And the internet never forgets. Colorism tied to self-hate. Hey, did y'all hear about that recent controversy with Brandy saying that she wanted Holly Bailey, Holly Bailey to play her in a biopic. And they're saying that Holly Bailey's too light skinned to play Brandy. Okay, but why would Brandy say she wanted Holly Bailey to play her for a biopic? Hold on. This is Holly Bailey. This is Brandy Norwood. I know y'all all see why Hallie should not ever in her life play Brandy for a biopic. I know y'all see the issue. I get it, their eyes are both the same distance apart. I understand that. But it's a deeper than that. I mean deeper. Why would you ever want a light-skinned woman to play you, a dark-skinned woman, in your biopic? You are taking the opportunity from a dark-skinned woman based upon what? Norarity? I didn't even say the word. But because Hallie's that girl? And there's this big controversy on TikTok going on about it. And it's just interesting to me how she always gets thrown in and out of blackness. The same thing happened to her with the color purple when she wanted to play in the role of Nettie. They were saying she's too light to play Nettie. And it's just always interesting to me how monoracial light-skinned women get thrown in and out of the black community like this. If we accept roles like this, you know, we're not getting, we're not giving opportunities to darker skinned women. But then it's like when they choose to benefit from their light skin privilege, Chloe and her sister are about the same complexion and they were saying Chloe's not even light skinned. I remember them saying that when she was making an ad for makeup or something and she called herself yellow and people were gaslighting her saying that she's not even light skinned. And they're about this, uh, maybe... Hallie's like a half a shade darker than her sister, but they're both still in that same skin range. But they're monoracial black girls. They look mixed, but they are just, mon they're lighter skinned, monoracial, but they still can't play a monoracial character because of the skin tone differences and whatnot. Cause I do see how Holly could play Brandy. Um, I was looking at a picture when Brandy was younger and they have the similar facial features, but because Holly's too light skinned, she can't play Brandy. And people looking at Brandy like, "Why you want a light skinned girl to play?" And I, they, I get it. They want darker skinned women to have these roles, and I, I get it. But it's like monoracial light skinned black women are black women too, also. And it's like. I've seen situations in reverse where a biopic was played by a dark skinned person, but the real person was lighter skinned. Malcolm X is an example of that. Uh, Denzel Washington played Malcolm X. He did a great job in that movie, but nobody said nothing about that. But, uh, but as soon as Bernie wants Ali Bailey, a lighter skinned, lighter skinned person to play her, there's all this backlash about it. It's just weird to me. But this is just a quick video. What do you guys think about this? Let me know in the comments and I'll see you guys next time. Now, I don't know how I feel about this. I don't because I feel like Brandy, I, now I, I'm not saying that Hallie can't play Brandy. I'm not saying that. And I think Hallie is a beautiful choice if that was her choice to play Hallie. But I would always think she would use her daughter, kind of like how Ice Cube did with his son when he did it in NWA. Or, 
straight out of Compton. That's the NWA. It was about NWA. But I've always, I would have thought she would use her daughter because her daughter looked, bro, have y'all seen Brandy's daughter? Look at her daughter. And her daughter can sing. Like her daughter can sing. Do you hear me? So I'm just like, I would have loved that. Also, her daughter looks like Jasmine Sullivan. I'm like, do a Jasmine Sullivan uh, biopic, child. She looked like her mama. She looked like Jasmine Sullivan. And she could sing. I mean, I get it. I just, I, I don't know. I just, I get it, but I, I don't. But okay. <laughs> play me in a movie about my life. There's a few people that come to mind, but off the top of the dome, Halle Bailey. But yeah, she said she want Halle Bailey to play her in a biopic. I'm sorry, but I gotta disagree. I gotta disagree. I do not see that happening. Um, this is not a diss to Halle Bailey. Halle Bailey could sing her ass off and she can act. Nobody can deny that Halle Bailey is talented. Nobody could deny that, but I just don't see it because for one she doesn't have the facial features like brandy so that's one two she's not the skin tone as brandy howley is light skin she's like a light brown co com complexion brandy is dark skin i can't see that and third they voices howley bailey she's a soprano brandy is an alto that is two different vocal ranges I, that's like that's like you saying you want Jasmine Sullivan to play Aretha Franklin. That is two different voice. Even though Jasmine Sullivan is a mezzo soprano, but still, Jasmine got rasp in her voice. Brandy has rasp in her voice. Halle is a very light angel type of angelic type of voice. I, I can't see that. I can't see that. I can't see that. So Brandy said if there's a movie about her, about her life, she would pick Halle Bailey to play her. Now, when I was thinking of who would be a good Brandy, she definitely came to mind. I feel like she could definitely resemble Brandy. I feel like she has the voice there. I feel like she has the acting skills there. I feel like it would be perfect. But I always love to hear from you guys. So let me know if you guys think this would be a perfect choice. And I also thought that she would be a good choice in the new Michael Jackson movie to play Janet Jackson, or if they end up for some reason making a Janet Jackson movie, I feel like she would be a good choice i if i'm not mistaken i think janet had said that as well but when it comes to brandy i just feel like they have a lot of similarities too and a lot in common like both of them have played princesses now because of course we have hallie playing ariel and then we have brandy playing the best the best cinderella but she reprises of course in the descendants both have been in sitcoms both are singers along with being actresses both even have their kids relatively young I think this is a solid choice. I would love to see this. And then who knows, maybe if there's like a Moesha spinoff one day, she can play like Moesha's daughter or something. Because literally, I need to know who's pregnant. If she was the one pregnant, then she could play her daughter. <laughs>